oral questions. The first, in the name of Debbie Narua Packer. Atena koe tapika. Uh, my question is to the Minister of Health. Does he stand by his statement on the disestablishment of Te Aka Hwaiora? Quote, my dream is to devolve decision making and funding and give to Mana Motahake as close to the home in Hapu as possible, unquote. If so, what structure and funding models will he use to achieve it? Thank you, Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, yes, I stand by my statement. The dream is to lift mostly every health metric for Māori. I am still working with my officials on how this will look and am excited to work collaboratively with our coalition partners to ensure that we achieve better health outcomes for all New Zealanders. That is because there is one thing we can all agree on. New Zealanders are suffering from six years of broken promises and misguidance from the previous Labour government. The latest clinical performance metrics released yesterday show that Māori and all New Zealanders are suffering with longer wait times in ED for their first specialist assessments, uh, assessment, amongst many other issues. We believe the devolution of decision making and funding to those on the front lines will help drive better health outcomes and that the hapu probably know what's best for their community. Supplementary, please. What assurances can he give, if any, that the Māori Health Commissioning Budget for Te Aka Whai Order will stay ring fenced for Māori health providers at the same level of funding currently in place? Uh, the leader has already given indications that funding that is appropriated for Māori Health will remain with Māori Health. Supplementary. How will he ensure that the recommendations of the Y2575 Māori Health claim are implemented in the new Māori Health structure and investment model? Thank you. Mr, uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, we seek to improve Māori Health outcomes, which is also the endeavour of the Y claim, and we have every intention of doing that. Supplementary. What will now be the monetary mechanism to ensure accountability for Māori health outcomes as achieved by Te Whatu Order? Thank you. Uh, Mr Speaker, we could uh, contend whether that was truly achieved by the Akafai Order, but uh, we are working through uh, structural mechanisms to make sure that uh, there is monitoring in place for Māori health outcomes. Supplementary. What specific decisions has the government made on baseline funding, delegations and the role of Iwi Māori Partnership Boards under the new system? Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. Uh, we're working through uh, appropriate structures and delegations for how we can improve Māori health outcomes. Detail. 